Columbus had the worst power play in the NHL heading into Monday night's game, but went two for three with the man advantage against Montreal, which ranks 28th in penalty killing. Why are the Canadians so bad on the PK? Goaltenders, your best penalty killer, and they've had horrendous goaltending for the most part this season. Uh, the defense, we know they're not better than they were last year. And uh, some of the forwards, quite frankly, they seem confused a lot, out of position. Um, it's not that they're not trying. They're just not executing. They're not in the right place at the right time. They don't block as many shots as they once did. Well, penalty killing is just hard work, right? It's not rocket science. It's hard work and being fearless to Position. block shots. Guy Carbonell, your buddy Guy Carbonell, remember him blocking shots off his head. He'd throw himself in front of shots. The game in Columbus, Jacob Delarose twice went out to the blue line and did one of those, well, I'm going to make it look like I'm trying to block the shot, but I really don't want to get hit by it. And it all he hurts. ended up doing was screening Lindgren, who couldn't see anything. And I'm looking at Jacob Delarose, and I'm going, you know, Daniel Carr is a healthy scratch so often. He busts his butt out there, and I see Jacob Delarose out there, a kid who's like, do you not want to stay in the NHL? Like, do you not, like... Throw yourself in front of this shot. You don't do anything offensively, so block shots, get in front. But it was one of those, well, I, I'll make it look on video like I'm trying to block the shot, but I really don't want to get hit by it. And that's not, you're not going to kill penalties doing that. Well, that's why you have special players who play on the penalty kill. And if they don't have the players, which they don't, a lot of other parts of the Canadians that have been missing. So you don't have the players to be on the penalty kill, and that's what is a direct result from it, that you just can't have a good unit if you don't have the players. They don't work hard enough on it. Why are they even putting De La Rose on the penalty kill? Are they just out of players or are they trying to uh, make him better at it? Or? I scratch my head with De La Rose. Like he's just, he's, somebody in Kenny's management really likes it. I mean, he's got Long the size, stick, he's got, yeah. Range, yeah. Yeah. but uh, I, I don't know. I'll take a short guy. I'd take Paul Byron jumping in front of a shot, which I'm sure he would, or Brendan Gallagher or these other guys. I just, uh, it's, I don't know. And does somebody in management dislike Daniel Carr? Because, I mean, uh, where is that I, guy? It certainly looks that way. I, I mean, Whatever, somebody doesn't like something about him, but on a team that can't score and compete level is questionable, there's a guy who can score when he gets a chance and he works mm -hmm. hard. Okay. Go to hockeyatsideout.com now and check out this week's full episode.